happening now, fire crews from across both Utah and Salt Lake Valleys are setting fire to an empty home in Draper. But don't worry, it's just for an important training exercise, and crews say it is completely under control. ABC4's Andrew Reeser is there now, and Andrew, what are you seeing? Well, guys, we're here at this home off of 136 East and 300 South in Draper. They just set fire intentionally to this 40 year old home. They just started knocking down the flames in the kitchen area. You can see we're shooting right there right now. Now they're simulating an arson situation as part of an important training exercise. Crews with the Draper City Fire Department conducting the burns to sort of brush up and get more experience in varying environments. And this home will soon be demolished to make room for a new subdivision here. We do train every day, but we don't actually have fires every day. It gives us the opportunity to actually learn uh, fire behavior, um, suppression tactics. Now this training comes just as wildfire season ramps up. So far we haven't seen any major wildland fires here in Utah, knock on wood, but crews do need to train in all different types of environments, even these enclosed spaces here that you can see. Now tomorrow incident investigators will come in to assess the damage inside this controlled burn. And on a much more somber note, we are approaching the one year anniversary of the death of Chief Matt Burchett, who died in the Wildland fires out in California last year. He was with the Draper City Fire Department. I asked them today how they're holding up. They say every day is hard, but they do say they need to continue these trainings and work as a team so that they can continue to protect and serve in his honor. Reporting live in Draper, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News.